Hello there, I hope you are doing well and welcome to my channel. My name is Palina and I will be doing a very interesting video today. It's called, if I lost all my makeup, what would I repurchase? Or if all my makeup disappeared, what would I buy immediately? I saw this video online from a few YouTubers I watched, but I don't know who started the trend. So if you know, please let me know in the comments down below. Also, if you are wondering, I'm not naked. I'm wearing a shoulderless top actually. This is from Ava Crombie and Fitch. I was filming a video earlier. I was recreating a makeup look from Doja Cat and the look turned out really great. She was wearing like a shoulderless top thingy in her picture, so I wore this one in my video. If I lost all my makeup or if all my makeup disappeared and I have to repurchase the products, I would only buy makeup products that I would really use and really need and really enjoy and know that they would really work for me. And plus, I would also consider the budget because I won't just be able to buy my whole makeup collection again. So these will be the makeup products I would rebuy if I lost all my makeup. Let's get started. I actually don't have an option for foundation. I like to keep a matte foundation and a glowy foundation to do different looks. And right now I have a glowy one from YSL and a matte one from Fenty. And I like them both, but they're not like my holy grail where I would need to repurchase them immediately. I've tried out foundations from a few brands and no one have ever failed me like giving me allergic reactions or irritated my skin or anything. And I think I would want to move on and try out other brands. So if I lost all my makeup and I have to buy a foundation, I'll just go to the store and see which brand are there and then try out anything I can get. For concealer, you won't be surprised by this one. I use it in a lot of my videos. This is the Cover Perfection Tip Concealer from a Korean brand called The Same. The concealer is very affordable and has everything I want in a concealer. It's very long lasting, doesn't crease or doesn't break up on my skin. It has a really good amount of coverage. It's creamy, super easy to blend. I love this concealer. The only thing I don't like is the smell. It has like a chemical floral scent to it but once you blend it out it won't irritate you in any way anymore so i would purchase this one instead of the nice radiant creamy concealer you also gotta consider the budget you know if you lost all your makeup for eyebrows, as you can see in all my makeup videos, I don't do much to my eyebrows. I draw them with a brow pencil and then brush them out with a spoolie that comes with a brow pencil. So my brow routine is very simple. I don't have much requirements for my brow pencils. I have the Benefit Groove Pro Brow Pencil. It's pretty good, but this is like 24 US dollars, I believe. And then I have brow pencils from Korean brands. K-Beauty brands actually have a lot of affordable brow pencils, like the Etude House one costs like 4 US dollar, and the Inner 3 one here. I think if I lost all my makeup, I would just buy an eyebrow pencil for the Korean brands and save that money to buy other stuff I want to splurge on, like eyeshadow palettes. So I'll just go to one of the Korean beauty brands and then pick an eyebrow pencil that is my shade. And my brow pencil have to come with a spoolie because after I color my eyebrows, I have to brush them up. That's like my only requirement for my brow pencil. I don't want much for my eyebrow pencil, just have to be the right shade and comes with a spoolie. If you're hearing any knocking hammering sound, it seems upstairs they're doing any construction. I'm sorry for the noises. They just have to do those constructions when I'm filming my video. That's, that's one of the reasons why I always do voiceovers in my makeup tutorial. I hope you guys don't mind it. Okay, now moving on to eyeshadow. I have these two palettes. So first of all, I have the ColourPop Fade Into Hue palette. I already created a lot of looks with this palette. It has a really great range of shade. I've talked a lot about it. You get Every time I want to say this is a rainbow palette, I can't because there's pinks and stuff instead of reds. So you get a really wide variety of shades, pinks, oranges, yellows, greens, blues, and purples. Whenever I want to create a colorful look, I know this palette won't let me down, so I would definitely repurchase this if I lost all my makeup. I would have a palette that I can do a lot of colorful looks with. And as you guys know, I like to do colorful makeup looks. And of course, I don't want to look like a colorful peacock all the time, so I would also want to have my neutral shades. My favorite neutral shades are the warm neutrals. Everyone have like their daily safe choices of shades. Some people like light pinks, light purples, mauves. Some people like smoky grays and blacks. My favorite type would be the warm neutrals. You know, just choose whatever suits your skin tone better, whatever suits your preferences better. If you like cool tone neutrals, just go for the cool tone ones. I think cool tone shades doesn't look good on me, or it's just my skills that's sucking. <laughs> I have mauve and taupe colors, but they just don't look as good on me. So this is like my safe palette. I will repurchase this palette so that whenever I don't feel like doing a colorful look, I will go for one of those warm neutral colors. This is a Roman Mahogany Garden palette. One of my favorite things about the palette is the ratio of matte shimmers and glitter shades. You have more mattes than shimmers and you have your light shimmer, medium dark shimmer, you have your glitter and another pressed glitter. I would probably swap this glitter for a darker shimmer shade, but I really love this palette. 
it works great for me so these are the two palettes I would go for, a colorful one, a really colorful one, and a warm neutral palette. I would also put the Kaleidos one in the list, but the Kaleidos palette costs like 42 US dollar. So consider the budget, you know, making it realistic. For eyeliners, you guys know me, I use Kiss Me eyeliners in all my videos whenever I'm doing black or brown eyeliner. So a friend of mine once traveled to Japan and she brought back some Japanese drugstore makeup with her and she gifted me an uh, eyeliner from Kiss Me and I used it and I just really liked it and I never swatched, switched to other eyeliners ever since and I have repurchased them. I have two black ones, one brown one and I repurchased the black one again in the newer version. So if I lost all my makeup, I'll definitely go back to the Kiss Me Eyeliners again. For stuff like this, I'm not interested to try new brands. Whatever works for me, works for me and I'll go back to them. I forgot to explain why I like these eyeliners so much. So the Kiss Me Eyeliners have a brush tip applicator that's super small, thin and precise. If you have small eyelid space like me, then this eyeliner would work great for you because it won't just go on and give you a super thick line. It goes on really thin and you can just really work with it, take your time to create your perfect ring. If you have small eyelid space and you're struggling with doing eyeliner, this would work great for you. Also, it's very long lasting. If I apply makeup in the morning and put on my wing eyeliner until the late night where I remove my makeup, the eyeliner will stay there perfectly. So I love this eyeliner, it's my holy grail. For mascara, I have finally found my holy grail after trying out various western and asian mascaras so the thing with western mascaras is that they are more moisturizing and more wet the formula is very different from asian mascaras i've tried western mascaras from white and wild and from maybelline so when i apply western mascara on my eyelashes the formula won't just dry down immediately it will stay wet for a while and then my straight lashes that i curled up can't handle the weight and then it will just draw down so i wouldn't have curled up eyelashes by the Asian mascaras I've tried out from Korean and Japanese brands, they are more waterproof and the formula is more dry. Like once I apply it on, after a few seconds the mascara would already dry down and the curl would hold in place, so it works better for me. But the western mascaras are way easier to remove. By the end of the day, I can just wipe it off with micellar water or any makeup remover, whereas the Asian mascaras they are more waterproof and they're more dry and hard to remove. You have to use a eye and lip makeup remover like the ones with oil inside or makeup remover oil or cleansing balm to wash them off i have to like really take my time to wash off my mascara because i don't want to pull off my eyelashes so after trying a lot of mascaras and having all these experiences i found this one from cleo i was just giving it a try and it turns out i really like this mascara it really makes my lashes stay curled up makes them look long and thick and voluminous so i will stick by this mascara and if i lost all my makeup I'd go back to this mascara and in fact I already bought a new one of this. Now moving on to the rest of the face makeup. For setting powder, I would repurchase this one if I lost all my makeup. This is the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Loose Setting Powder in the shade Butter. They have like 8 different shades I believe. It smells delicious, it smells like vanilla or something like that. I'm in the shade Butter and the thing I really love about this product is that it contains 28 grams of product. I have this big pot I've been using for over a year now and I'm not even by the half of it. There's so much product inside. So if you are someone who uses a lot of powder or do a lot of baking, I think this will last you a good amount of time. It sets my makeup really well. My makeup won't get oily if I apply the setting powder over it. My makeup never creases or breaks up on my skin. So this is my trustworthy powder. Now for bronzer. If I lost all my makeup and I have to buy new bronzers, I would probably go with the Benefit Hula or the Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer or try out the new bronzer from my new makeup brand that I've never tried before. I don't have much requirements for my bronzer. They just need to give warmth to my skin and be complimenting like doesn't look ashy or gray or anything like that. The Benefit Hula one works really well. I like the color, I like the tone and it's very pigmented. I know that I only need a little bit of this to make it work. I don't have much requirements I want from my bronzer so I would probably try out a bronzer from a new brand. I just don't have any one in mind right now. I don't have any bronzer that I really want to try right now. But if I lost all my makeup, I would go to the store and pick up a new bronzer and try it out. Now for blush, I also don't have much requirements for a blush. This is a NARS Outlaw blush I use almost daily and it works for me. I think NARS have a great shade range of blushes. They also work great, they're easy to blend, they last a long time on the skin. And they have some really complimenting colors like this berry pink. I have another one called Taos. It's a very pretty warm tone pink. I think I'd go to NARS to buy like a new blush 
trying out a new shade or buy a blush palette if they have any at the moment. Now to bring out limited edition blush palettes and there's like six different blushes and the blushes would last you a long time. So I think if I lost all my makeup, I'd go back to get a nice blush. For highlighters, I love some Fenty. This is a Fenty Beauty Kilowatt Highlighter Duo in Lightning Dust Fire Crystal. I really like the idea of having a subtle highlighter and an intense, more shimmery highlighter. If you want to do some daily subtle looks, you can use this highlighter. If you are trying to make your look more glamorous and really beam it up, then use this one. I really like this highlighter and the design of the packaging, so I think I'll go back to this highlighter. But this time, I'll maybe try a new shade like the Ming Money one. I also really love the Diamond Bomb highlighter. This is a Fenty Beauty Diamond Bomb in How Many Carrots. It's a colorless, shimmery, gel type highlighter, loose shimmery, powder kind of situation. It's very unique. It goes onto the skin really like sprinkled around. Like it's not a it's not like an eyeshadow or a regular highlighter, it's actually very loose. The shimmery powder is very loose, so when you apply it over your skin, you have little shimmers here and there, and it's really pretty. I like to use this as an eyeshadow topper or a highlighter topper. Just top it on top of what I already have. I love this product. Now moving on to the final category, lips. Love me some Fenty again. This is a Fenty Beauty Gloss Bomb in the shade Fuzzy. I love the Fenty Beauty Gloss Bombs. I've only tried the original formula. I haven't tried the cream or the heat yet. And I really love the original formula because it has everything I want in a lip gloss. It has a really nice, thick, oversized doe foot applicator that is very comfortable. It feels fluffy when you apply it on your lips. The formula of the gloss is really nice. It's not sticky. It smells like fruity mentos. It smells delicious. It gives me some color but not too opaque. It gives me some shimmer. The lip gloss is really pretty. It makes my lips look plump and juicy and I love it. Let me actually wear this one. This is fuzzy. You see how glossy that makes my lip look? If I lost all my makeup, I'm going back to Fenty Beauty to get a new gloss bomb again. For lipsticks, I don't have much requirements for them. I'm not picky at all. Just don't irritate my lips. Don't give me allergic reactions. That's all. I love trying out new colors, formulas, new brands, reds, pinks, purples, nudes, whatever it is. I love to try new lip products. So if I lost all my makeup, I'm probably just going to get new lip pieces that I've never had before, just to try them out. I don't have any staple or holy grail that I have to get back to immediately. An honorable mention... <coughs> An honorable mention would be the MAC Powder Kiss lipstick. I really like this moisturizing matte lipstick that is a little sheer. I can apply this on my lips and on my cheeks and blend it out as a blush to have a monochromatic look. And I also like to going to the MAC store to buy stuff because the MAC ladies, they always have really nice makeup looks on. They're very inspirational. So I would probably go to the MAC store to pick new colors. And that's it for this video. If I lost all my makeup, if all of my makeup disappeared out of nowhere, these are the products I would repurchase to restart my collection. Let me know which ones are yours. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Please take care of yourself and I'll see you in my next one. Bye!